tip number 98. Way, it's exciting. Getting near 100, it's amazing. Now, today is an exciting day. Tomorrow is my birthday. No, that's not, that's not actually why. But today is an exciting day because what I want to talk about now is raising energy because we've talked about different energy levels, different vibrations. And obviously the vibration of depression is quite a low vibration. So today what we're going to do is going to, we're going to commit to being a high vibration and getting in touch with your wild side. So your wild side means the side of you that feels free when you go and do it. Okay, so it would be maybe dancing in the rain, putting Pavarotti up really high, taking your clothes off and dancing in the road, or dancing, or maybe not the road in Auckland, you might get arrested, but maybe just in your garden even, maybe just in your front room. It's pushing the boundaries of what normal is. What is normal? I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna go through and do something different. Okay, I'm gonna go and buy myself, um, really sexy underwear and I'm just gonna rock it by myself in my high-heeled shoes around my house and hope somebody comes to the door is really good-looking no, no, no I mean all these things you're gonna do for yourself you could do something it has to be something that you wouldn't normally do it's not just night being nice to yourself it's your wild side if you don't have a wild side you've got to you've got to get in tune with what your wild side could be what could you do that's wild? What are your, do you have any deep desires? If you're a man, do you want to walk, dress up as a woman and go down to the mall? Have you ever really wanted to do that? If you have, that's fantastic. It's brilliant, it's brilliant fun. You might get a few funny looks, but so what? That doesn't matter. What matters is you're doing what's right for you. What other wildy things could we do we could go naked swimming we could go onto the beach in kind of not even a particularly nice day we could rip all our clothes off and we could run into the sea that's always really empowering it always brings your energy up it always makes you feel very much in the moment what else could we do Shane do you have any ideas to be wild to be in touch with our wild side go into the bush build, into a, build a tree house and uh, I don't know, commune with nature. Okay, go into the bush, build a tree house. My flatmate likes to hug trees. You know, we can go up there and hug trees. And I mean, you know, some people might, might think, oh God, I don't want anyone to see me hugging a tree, but um, it seems to work for him. So we, we have to develop this, this attitude of, I don't care what anybody else thinks. It's all about you. So that's a good idea, go into the forest. Go into the forest. Any other ideas about wild and expanding things you can do, write them underneath this YouTube, please. And let's give each other ideas about other things, wild things we can do. Uh, maybe blindfold, go to your wardrobe blindfold and pick out whatever pick clothes you pick out you have to wear. That's quite a fun one to do with someone else as well, not just by yourself. But why not do it by yourself? And then maybe film yourself and maybe post that. Just do something to get out of the square. If your life has become a little bit predictable and a little bit boring, what can you do just to uplift and enliven yourself? Could you go to the mall? Could you go to a food hall? And in the food hall, clear your throat and sing everyone a song. Could you do that? Okay, what pushes, your, what pushes your usual reserve, your reserved nature? And I'd love to hear about anything that you, that you do decide to do. Okay, thank you.